Yeah, no, we're going to do something very cool. And oh. this is near and dear to my heart is vendors and suppliers. Because once you sell the products, you need to like get the products and get them, you know, to your crews or get them onto your truck so you can put them onto the client's house and they add something and you didn't have it. Then you got to figure out how to get it in season fast. You know, vendors and suppliers is the next topic. And what do you got on that, Laura? Um, I got somebody that's going to do a ticker before we start talking. Mm -hmm. uh, you're going to change the ticker. You need okay. To. You need to. Charge. All right. It Jennifer. says Ron Ticker. Mm hmm. Mike, you have to pay attention or just pick a generic. Yeah. So we're going to do vendors and suppliers. Okay. Go ahead. Mm -hmm. I got the ticker. Let's do it. All right. So we're talking about vendors and suppliers. Yeah. Thanks about for correcting me and helping me be better. You're welcome. Yeah. That's what I do. <laughs> I'm here to support. Yeah. Did I spell it right? All right, let's go. I don't know. Mm -hmm. Oh, there you are. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Okay. So what are we talking about? Vendors and suppliers? What vendors and suppliers. Uh, we have uh, our favorite vendor and supplier right now, but we have a bunch of vendors and suppliers, but there does, there is a difference between buy, where do you buy from and what, what should you expect and what do you look for when you're buying from a vendor or supplier? Each of us buy from vendors and suppliers and each of us are vendors and suppliers on some level on depending on what product it is and we have a lot of experience tell me a little bit about some about that laura i guess my main thing is looking for their response time because you can put that order in and they won't respond very quickly and then you have to wait for it to ship and then you're on in a pinch especially if it's a late um, item that you all of a sudden need in an emergency situation so I can think of a couple off the top of my head. In season support. If your in season screwed. support sucks, yeah, you can't do business with anyone with if your in season support sucks. You right? Agreed. Hundred percent. Always need in season support. Um, you want your emails answered fast. You want your yeah. supplies sent out. You want your con confirmation emails. You want to know what's going on because you're trying to plan out your project, and that's going to start wasting your company dollars. So right there with you, Laura. Um, yeah. Our best one, like the best one, they're not the company I'm about to say anymore, but Christmas by Krebs, she was on top and she had those ornaments to me, lickety split. She's nice. You met the her best. Christmas by Krebs? No, they they got they got Hutchinson. bought out by someone in Dallas or something. Yeah. Oh. Erica Hutchinson uh, they're, is freaking awesome. Stuff, they're, they're right. Yeah. Good. The lady, she was at all the shows and stuff. She saw the shatterproof fade resistant ornaments. And if you're the one who's working your fingers to the bone with the floral wire and you're putting all those ornaments in till two o'clock in the morning into the garland for the next year, you know, for the commercial properties and oh shit, we're supposed to install that one tomorrow. You know, I could have done it all year, but let's just wait till the last minute to the last night and work that's till two year. in the morning. Yeah. So, I mean, right. that's when you're like next year, I'll do it different. And then you end up doing it again the next uh, year. I forgot about that. Yeah, no well, shit. you know, so, you have a special one where they decide they want silver and gold instead of what you've already done all of your other crap. In. Yeah, that then happened. you have to make an adjustment. But those the 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 Christmas by Krebs, the the shatterproof fade resistant ornaments, it really keeps you from having to do that every single year, even though it may be a little bit more expensive long term, getting it back, putting it on the shelf, taking it off yeah. the shelf, putting it back. The, the money and labor that you save it, it's, it's but she's she's a great example of good customer service mm -hmm. who else were you going to say and that product just so you know it's still i don't have to replace anything this year <laughs> nothing uh, yeah. no well, bows no well, ornaments well, i'm done but the thing about the, it's the ornaments the bows the embellishments and all these things that you use and it's like it is hot. like there's so much out there in different qualities and trying to decipher what works and good customer service and quality materials. It is tough, especially when uh, maybe somebody they're doing mostly outside and not indoor Christmas because indoor you can even have like not UV resistant. Right. And you can save money, cut corners and it won't affect the product like that. So it's also like what type of business are you trying to have? And then who's your vendor to give you that support based on your mission? You know, is yeah. price everything? No, no, no. We, not at all. We could have, we're ordering something custom and it's like, in the back of my head, I'm like, can I do this myself for cheaper or this or that? I want good customer service. I know when I get this, this is going to be an amazing piece and it's peace of mind. Yeah. I agree with that. Um, yeah. So you and I uh, were both pretty hardcore on Minleon about two years ago. And then, and now we don't support Midley out at all. You know, it's like, you know, like what happened? You know, is it, was it the price? Was it this? And it's like, there's more layers yeah, to, that's to your supplier. And yeah. 
most people will never get into it and never even understand the complexity of it. But it, when you move into being a distributor of a product or you're just reselling, that's probably a better way of saying it, you're reselling, you know, a product, man, there's just so many different levels of it. Um, what I've learned in my takeaway of that one is when you, when you buy from someone, I like to buy from someone who also installs the product that they sell. I was because, gonna say that. Cause like if you, if you buy from someone who installs, there's just a certain joy that you get from installing and interacting with customers and going through the process of owning a Christmas light business and seeing the smiling faces. There's a certain joy that you take from Christmas lights that people who don't install whatsoever, they lose that joy and it's all about selling. And you can tell a mile away that they don't install one. They don't have the knowledge to help you or two. They just have lost their joy over the years because they don't install. Becomes unrealistic. Um, like your ex expect people's expectations become unrealistic when you lose your touch with reality of like what's really going on. Like sometimes we talk like we're saying ten thousand dollars in salt, but that's fucking ten thousand dollars. Yes, we're talking about ten a million dollars. If you purchase a million, like think about that. Like and people think that it's just bulbs like oh they're just moving some c9 bulbs like this no is real money. This is real people's money and the real families that support their real employees that support their real business and i think the real the touch of reality gets lost oh, sometimes yeah. Yeah, I mean, and that's what that's so, what, so what i saw is like you have different ways of ordering lights when you need the lights yeah right so you're saying like in season a company has to shine super hard mm -hmm. for it to work with your with your company and they they have tickets like 20 tickets a day and they're trying to do it every hour they're trying to tend to somebody you know but what it looks like is you can import the stuff and and, and supply it in when you use somebody to manufacture and make a 3d display here in the us the one that comes from overseas like the, they could have a window open inside their warehouse and not have good ventilation and then they're powder coating things with dusty on the metal and it's going to chip it's going to chip away and then they're using a less quality paint and yeah. so like we get stuff from companies in the u.s and we get it i'd have to take a hammer and a chisel just to chip the paint versus i could flick the other one and it's like falling yeah. apart and so price isn't always it but at the same time is it an import or is it a custom-made piece and what like when you said reseller are we reselling products? We are importing products into the United States, putting them here locally so we can spread it out because there's not enough in the United States. I sure people, oh, oh, spools ran out this year. Nobody could have get spools. It's an assembly of product. You're telling me that the whole United States didn't import enough spools. And so we can't go hang this stuff. So that's one reason why we became a supplier was because we wanted to import more in and dish it out to our communities and the people that are actually installing. Like, yeah, because a lot of times What's happening is the installers that are not considered big wigs are not getting the customer service or the education. How many installers that are just going to the, the firefighters, the landscapers during the season are educated on the new glitzer? Yes. Because I, I've been educated many on the glitzer. It's because they're not plugged in because that's not their main focus. So our job is to be plugged in and then teaching them. And what happens is when they go to a retail storefront or they buy from a bigger person who it doesn't really care, they're just an order, then guess what happens? <laughs> Ron. Uh, guess what? That was my plug from Eric. Yeah, I right. I want, I want like my Should've endorsement. I want my endorsement from him. Yeah, uh, I like that. I want the uh, tattoo. I was I was asking Eric, do you want to come on and talk for a second about vendors and suppliers? But uh, they're at a birthday party. No, but but that's what I'm saying is like I just don't feel like people take the time to educate like even as simple as the conversation i've had a million times in my shop about lease versus yeah. home i've had that conversation a bazillion times. i bet laura i bet we'll you've had it, it. we'll, have, well, more, I'll have it more and i love having it because people aren't having these conversations with them because it's oh you're not purchasing on oh, half a million dollars in lights then i don't have time for you or, or let's just finish up this order and go when really if you would just take a moment I sold my, met much twinkly of people when I've educated them about the Halloween versus that. I've sold glitz, I've sold holiday dynamic specialty products by just simply hanging it in my shop and they've mm -hmm. seen it. It's because people don't know what it is. Do you know what yeah. I'm saying? So, Absolutely. Absolutely. Yeah. And you know what? Customers, they they have no idea about like I've never heard a customer say, 
well, I'd love for you to install my lights, but first, before you do, what brand are, is going on my house? I've those. never they heard are. that before. All I hear is are they LED, which it's yeah. like yeah, no, there is no there is no customer knowledge about there's this brand and this one. I had we, a pro no, we make we had, that. We had a property manager yesterday. We were on site with her, and she obviously her and her husband did their own lights. They cut them, and she was trying to relate to us, and she was super sweet. She goes, "Yeah, you know, we got those ridge clips." That's what she yeah. taught us. Like, we got That's awesome. I love this. You're so But funny. then I told her, all we use is circle style clips. And Chelsea's like, yeah, we rip this stuff off with poles off houses. She was like, like, what? what? And I'm like, yeah. you don't watch the professionals do it, you know? She was yeah. super sweet, but I did love She's like, yeah, we'd be putting those ridge clips so was, <laughs> and She was name dropping some items. Like, you know, she's trying to get in. She's like, I yeah. went to commercial grades. Yeah, girl, you're talking to another expert. I've been putting <laughs> lights up since I was eight. Yeah, I got ridge clips. You hear me? <laughs> <laughs> I got ridge clips. In the I didn't know. I didn't know. I think she's supposed to compare our ridge clips real yeah. quick. <laughs> but uh, speaking of uh, vendors and suppliers, uh, we have a good friend. He's kind of turned into family, uh, Scott and Eric uh, from Hall Dynamics. They're doing something next week, and they created a new product this year, the Glitzer. Let's bring on uh, Oh Turkelson for a minute here on the show. What's up, Turk? Oh, oh turn it sideways, dog. Car. We got Eric Turk on mute. He's what is he here? He's oh, muted. He muted. He's muted. All right. All right, let's remove Turk. No, I'm joking. Uh <laughs> <laughs> Get it on mute, brother. Yeah, yeah he's on mute. mute himself. You got to unmute him. Yeah, though. he's at a party. Is that a birthday party? It's uh, Scott's mom's birthday. You know, he's talking. You gotta put on uh, mute. Uh, do I have you muted? What's going on, brother? Oh, there's Scott. <laughs> hey, uh, push the <laughs> mute button, bro. Everyone's talking. Just no. Go over and just say the. Do you have the mute, mute button on? Oh, oh, there he is. There. Oh, he is. God, this is me. What's up? Hey. Yeah. Oh, we can see him. I just pushed the glitzer, so I'm waiting for my endorsement package. Oh, yes. <laughs> glitzer day. <laughs> Yeah, okay. it's Glitzer Fest coming up Wednesday. Oh yeah, here because we're celebrating today my mom's seventy fifth birthday. Oh yes, wow. yeah, that's awesome. So, so for her birthday, what'd you get her? Enjoying our time here, and uh, thought I'd come out and say hi real quick as well. Thank you for the support, everybody. Yeah, yeah absolutely. What'd you get your mom for her birthday? Flyers. Nice. Well, we're happy to be one. He's not going to answer that. He's not answering that. <laughs> oh. Can they hear? hear? Can what'd they you hear? Have, I didn't, the time? <laughs> would, would you get your mom for her birthday? Actually, um, she doesn't really require or want much. So she uh, got a dozen of her favorite yellow, red, or yellow roses. Yeah. Oh. You didn't give her yellow glitzers? And uh, she currently has <laughs> up on her house. Like, yeah, my, that's right. <laughs> all yellow. Oh, yeah, yeah nothing good. says I love you like some glitzers on the house. Yeah, yeah. Eric, will, yeah. Eric will filter in. You guys want to see the beautiful yellow rose bouquet I got her? Yes. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Let's take a little tour here real quick. <laughs> uh oh. Oh. We're on a walking mission. Yeah. A little bit. Yeah, when they put the glitzers on the house, um, that was that was uh, Scott's mom's house. They did this picture oh. shoot with the little lake and stuff. Oh wow, we're getting a private VIP tour here. Come on in. Oh, we're in the house. Wow. Yeah, I got us in there. <laughs> You're like getting us got, you know, got us on the list. Yeah. Did we? Oh. oh. Wow. wow. There's Scott's mom. Just wave. Happy birthday to you. <laughs> on our podcast. Oh, hi. You're with us. Hey, <laughs> happy birthday. Yeah. Queen. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, there's that little boy. <laughs> I feel like we're part of a whole movie. <laughs> yeah. There's Scott. <laughs> so you're all you're all at the birthday party now. What, what a what no, a nice no. son to buy his mom yellow flowers. Cupcakes. Oh, yellow cupcakes. Wow. Oh, he's got oh, the yeah. cupcakes. Too. Ron, you really got us a tour. I know. I hope my mom never watches this. <laughs> There's more. <laughs> hey, Miss Turkelson. You know hey. these guys. Yep. We we all know Miss Hazy. What's up, Becky? Hi. Here, hold on. Maybe this would be a better picture, of Becky. Hold on. 
Oh. That's, I that's remember enough. that view. That's enough of that. Yeah. Oh, I got the, oh, I got the <laughs> that went south real quick. So yeah, the Murphys don't know anything about that that story. All right, so let's talk yeah. vendor suppliers. <laughs> When it comes to vendors and suppliers, you know, buying someone who's like fan, they become like family with you because it's like the lifeline to your business and you actually become a lifeline to their business. It's a great relationship and it turns into personal and professional. We have a great relationship with uh, Hall Dynamics and, and some other people, but uh, since we have Eric on the phone, uh, what, is, what is going on with the uh, vendors and suppliers as far as in your experience, what people should look for buying and so, you know. Well, just like you guys were alluding to, the Murphys and yourselves was, uh, you know, not all the time is it uh, is price, but really I think it comes down to quality. Like everything we produce is commercial grade, utility grade. Um, but then also, like you mentioned, the relationships. So with anything, I think when you can get together and build a relationship with somebody and you're in it to win it, both of you or the whole, you know, our factories have to win. We are having some. It must be the car. We're losing Eric in the car. It together, and that's what makes it a lot better. So having quality, having good relationships is really, I think, the key um, to winning in this business. Yeah, so and it's I like, still hear me, okay? Yeah, I can hear you. So, like, if your wife is calling you, you or if I'm calling, you, yeah, I can hear you. Can't hear you. Yeah, I think it's your car. <laughs> What kind of car are you driving? What, what, what they didn't have cell phone service? Uh, you there? <laughs> New Tesla Cybertruck. Eric took this off the tracks. We are in a home movie. I want you to know that. Eric, we were. You guys hear me on that side? Yes. 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 <laughs> All right. Well, we lost we lost connection with Eric. Uh, a little technical difficulty in the car. I'm sure his wife is like I Eric. Can't say Eric. The, the audio, the audio will change if I change direction. Yeah, no, it's like it, I'm sure Eric's wife's like, "Look, we went to a birthday party, and you're still in the car working. <laughs> Get off the phone and go. It's true, it. my company. We're at a party together. It, We're just inside. We're just inside. All of a sudden, it's pink cupcakes and roses. Yeah, let's try it. Let's try Eric one more time. Eric, can you hear me, brother? Yeah, I can't hear you guys. I can uh, hear me. Yeah, I can hear you. Okay, now I can hear you. I lost you guys for a minute. You're right. <laughs> so, well, but what so, you're looking for in a uh, vendor is. Oh, you, you guys didn't know what I was saying there? No, as soon as you jumped in the car, uh, I think your wife pushed a remote so you'd come back inside and turned off the volume. What are you laughing volume, at, Chelsea? Turn up the volume, turn up the volume. Oh, we just lost you. <laughs> You need to hook up to mama's Wi-Fi. Yeah, Eric, you need to hook up to mama's Wi-Fi. Yeah, Laura's, Laura's so supportive. See, Lin Lindsay's laughing her ass off. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> <clears throat> All right, anyway, back to okay. what we were saying. I, I, I Hold on. I'm going to be professional here. With it is that. Oh, God. With it is that <laughs> you, uh, it's about sustainability. Like, I, I, I typed in ChatGPT. What are the 10 best things that a professional Christmas light company can do? <laughs> and you, it just spits it out, right? And if you uh -huh. look at it, it's almost any, and you type in a different word like Christmas light installation company or a service <clears throat> company. And you look at these things all the time on there, sustainability and scalability is on there too. So when you look at how can you scale your business without a vendor, a good, reliable vendor, how can you really scale? Right. You can't. And so if scalability is part of it. And uh, of that you want in your company, you you do need to get supplies very quickly, and you need the support of that person. And installing is a good quality to have because it's the application of the products at all times. Like even when you order stuff from Haven, they would say, "Oh, you order this type of light, and this controller doesn't go with it. Is there any?" They look at the order saying these things don't match, right? But you're like, "Dude, I know what I'm doing. I actually need that for a different property, right?" And it's like, but the, it's the customer service and support yeah. to catch any downfall. A miss invoice, make sure they can invoice correctly. That's a big one. I think the, also the one, the thing that, you know, maybe everybody doesn't think about is um, do you guys have the same boundaries and moral compass? I know a lot of people don't want to talk about that, but sometimes your boundaries and your vendor's boundaries might be different. It could be as simple as 
appropriate times to talk on the phone. You might think it's totally fine to talk on the phone after we're done installing. I do, but someone else might not think it's appropriate. You may also not think it's appropriate to be called at midnight when they've been out and about. You might not want that. What I'm saying is your boundaries, what that is, and then also your vendor is a reputation of you. It is mm -hmm. who you, it does show who you are. If we're like, we support da 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 da, and they're like doing wild things, then it does re can reflect back on you in business. That that's a that's a blanket cause across all of business of it's relationships. relationships. Who birds of the same feather flock together. Yeah. So what did Ron say the gathering of eagles? Yeah. 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 See, yeah. we're together mm -hmm. with the birds. Yeah. Well, <laughs> you know, I think most most relationships are about respect okay. and mutual respect is, you know, I'll make important to me what's important to you and you make important to, you know, you make what's important to you to me. You know, it's like we both make what's important to each other to us. And that's like mutual respect. And when the person they don't have mutual respect, I don't know how women feel about it, but for men, respect is number one. And if I feel like I'm not getting any respect, I mean, we're going to, that's where I'm going to draw the boundary right there on our relationship. But then again, you know, we bought from Ace Hardware when we first started. What was this? Uh, I don't know how long ago. And we bought from them and Dang. shit. We were buying, we were buying like <laughs> overpriced stuff. And, you know, it was a we lucky 70 cents. It was like a dollar a bulb and we were selling and we were still doing good. And then like we came in at the end of the season and the guy who owns the Ace Hardware store was talking kind of fly with Laura, uh, you know. And I'm not going to mention his name. This fucking guy in uh, in uh, Pecan Grove Ace Hardware, but um, but he started talking fly to him, her, and it was like, you know what? I don't even fucking care about the pricing. I don't even care that I have this stuff when I go in there. If you're going to talk fly to my wife like that, we're done. You know what I mean? Because that's where I draw the line right there. I want mutual respect. I mean, pricing is good, and 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 in season support. I got to have in season support, especially if we're, if you're picking a vendor that's mailing it to you, you of need course. good support oh, yeah. because you, you know, I need the trust that you sent it and that it'll be here in two days because two days, if I find out you haven't sent it, then, you know, that's a whole thing. Yeah, so that's a whole nother thing. But you know, from the local stores that you can actually go into there, you know, just having a mutual respect and, and sometimes you can kill someone with your knowledge just because I might be smarter than you or on a higher level than you. I don't need to talk down to you. Like, right. what do you mean? You don't know what this is. What are you stupid? You know, th those kind of things, just having a mutual respect and putting yourself in a situation because we've all been there. We've all been at the start and we've well, got to this level and now we're at this level and there's still another one we're trying to go to. Well, and it's nice to have mutual respect. Well, selling is emotional. You yeah. know, selling is emotional whether you're being sold to or you're selling to someone. It is emotional. So you create an emotional connection, whether that is prideful that you got a good price, whether that is the warm feeling that you were treated well and with mutual respect. It is emotional and is an emotional connection on both sides, whether you're selling or you're getting sold to. And a lot of people forget that because it becomes – and even – you can become a victim of that of yourself. Oh, I always do this house like she doesn't care or, oh, I, I, and then you get into these mindsets where you're not prioritizing, where you're not being reliable, where you're not being more, et cetera. You know, you don't want to. And that is the whole issue is all about the emotional state. How does it feel emotionally to you when you're with it? it we could talk about price. We could talk about them being an installer. We could talk about all of it all day long and say all the thing it is. But what is it really? It's much. Ron just said, "I like to be shown respect." Or he said, <laughs> "I like the mutual. I like the mutual of commun. I like to be communicated with. You know what I'm saying? Me, yeah. I like to be talked to like a person. Also, uh -huh. I like. Oh, I like someone who's knowledgeable on installing, so that I can have we have knowledgeable conversations and stuff like that. Like. You know, these are all just about the emo the emotion and how they make you feel. And that's why I say your moral compass and your boundaries have to match with the vendor that your vendors that you're buying from. Because yeah. if you don't have the trust, you don't have the emotional connection, all you're gonna feel is a little nervous all the time and anxious. And Christmas life season is already an anxious feeling. Yeah. yeah. And I tell you, it's a nice feeling when a customer who buys from you, they come in and then all of a sudden you teach them something and then they come in or they're giving you feedback yeah. and then you're, you're watching like a, like something growing. You're yeah. watching their business get bigger and you're watching them take on tree jobs when they never did. And you're like, 
oh my, and like you're genuinely happy for them that their business is growing in your backyard where you service too. But, you know, genuinely being happy for people, that's something we've experienced too. And it's a yeah. good feeling too. I love it. Well, when you see it, like when you help other people and then they win, even though you've had that feeling, somebody maybe have done it to you with like being a vendor and everything. And they give you that good feeling. So when you teach them and they win, I mean, that's what life's really about. Yeah. Who cares about all the financial side of it, this penny or that penny, when in the grand scheme is like, we're not having a good time and we're not creating relationships. Yeah, Eric, you got the thing on mute? He does. And he he's, he's got a, yeah. yeah. I didn't want you guys to pick up any background. Okay, so what were, we, what were you saying, brother? Yeah, so I was just saying, you know, when it comes down to, um, just, you know, with vendor suppliers, it's with us, we want to make a quality product. So everything that we produce is going to be commercial grade or utility grade. So stuff that's that's good, that's going to hold up out in the elements. But the biggest thing is also with the relationship side of it. So not so much, I think uh, Joey and Chelsea had also said, you know, with prices and everything, it's, it's also, it's mainly about the relationships that you have with people and really trying to grow something together, like, you know, podcasts like this um some of the chat rooms that we have out there things that we try to do to help the industry i think that's really what it's all about when it comes to you know what what i want to be with being a uh, a true supply vendor is somebody that i can you know work with somebody i can help grow their business because at the end of the day if they're growing then you're growing as well and so for us all of our suppliers wholesalers everybody has to win at the end of the day and that's you know what we really appreciate so with the murphys with you guys the robies um it's really like you mentioned you know becoming family with people yeah yeah and, it, and and there's and there's different levels of customers and i know this just in the install business if you're an installer if, if your customer who's paying you say an eighty thousand dollar job is calling and you're on the phone with the customer it's a you know a thousand dollar job you know you prioritize certain things and, and and the same is with the distributor when you have your big whale of a client calling you it's like hey man it's uh murphy's calling me to call you back <laughs> you know what i mean but that's a kind of like respect that you you know you get to earn like when you become family hey yeah uh, sorry this is my wife called i gotta go but you know yep. but you become like that in in business it carries on into business too right laura yes absolutely yeah and uh that's how we feel like we're treated over there at hall dynamics um and but, uh, too i mean that's that it goes both ways right i mean the the respect i think we have for one another the uh just the relationship we build you know understanding you know it becomes very personal i mean we're in a very personal business when it comes to you know christmas um what, what better opportunity is there than that so uh, for us it's it's building those relationships and at the end of the day providing quality products and hoping they wins yeah hell yeah well that's eric turkelson from holiday dynamics kind of said it better. who's got the all-new product the glitzer yeah. this sure. year and the glitzer is going to be like the incandescent math if you didn't install 10 years ago and had incandescent math uh it's you have to do a little bit more math you have to be a little bit a little sharper and trained uh installer to figure out the different amps and the how many watts and you know what can go on a line and what the limitations but it's not are. That hard. It's not but too yeah, hard. there's a he offers a free certification class that teaches you all of that, and that's the uh, Glitzer certification class. So if you haven't gotten that, jump in with old Eric, and he'll teach you the the one, two, three, and get you a hat. Yeah, great class. Get you class. get you some swag. Get you some swag. Yeah. Get you some okay. swag. Get you some swag. Get you a tattoo. Look, that's the Joey. He's his oh, look, look, Merv got the hat too. <laughs> yeah, this whole time. Yeah, that's right. I had it here the whole time. It's been on my back of my head. <laughs> look, you got a thumbs up. <laughs> look at this. Look at this smile. Look at that smile. Yeah, yeah look at that smile. <laughs> we love it. Right, you're right. With the glitter, you've just got to take into account that a uh, different, you know, wattage with that. So each glitter is 2.4 watts. Your typical C9 LED bulb is going to be 0.6 watts. So for every four C9 bulbs, it's one glitzer. Yeah. So we're working on a cheat sheet to give to the installers. We did the finger that four. Yeah. Murphy likes oh. to break it down, like exactly what the rhyme and reason. Uh, how you guys, uh, why doesn't Hollow Dynamics put on their uh, a calculator, a simple oh, calculator plug? On your website. 
Oh, I'm glad Scott's here for this one. Well, that that is, why, why don't you do that, yeah. Scott? Yeah. A calculator. Like, it could be for anything. A little you know, calculator. Anyway, the I think Scott's going to tell you there's calculator. a brand new website coming out next month. There is. Ah, Scott already He's said like, that of us. I should have known. I should have yeah. known Scott was ahead of This is it. like a couple months in the making. I think it's supposed to be like, sep like yeah. mid middle September or something like that. It's supposed oh my to be God, live. It's already out. It went live. Yeah, it went live <laughs> <laughs> two <laughs> seconds ago. <laughs> the beta version is released. We missed it, guys. He's Scott. already inventing something else. <laughs> yeah. All right, right now. Good job, Scott. What would you say, Scott? He, oh, he's, he's telling the guy right now, look, before you launch this, make sure you put the glitzer calculator <laughs> on there. Or any kind. <laughs> like, mini lights, now. RGB lights, all of it. The so one of the that we were talking to, Ron, flakes. cheat sheet that I'm uh, working with right now, my cheat sheet, what I developed versus what Ron's thoughts were in his mind, were two different things. So we're coming together and creating a good cheat sheet that we can cheat sheet that we can uh, share with everybody the clip yeah notes. well it's just i don't know like if you back when you installed incandescence if you if you were alive back when you were installing incandescence what you told your guys was something like look dude 130 is what you're supposed to put on there but don't go any more than 150 on that circuit and then you need to find another circuit i mean that was just like a rule of thumb and it, and it might be different because there's different reasons why. But, you know, you'll say, well, what happens? Well, just try it. Put 170 on there. See what happens. The line starts melting, blah, blah, blah. And there's all these things. So there's just a parameter. You just stay at 130 and maybe 150, but that's pushing it. Don't do it. Let's stay at 130 on the incandescence. And that's what it was back in the day. And we just need a little cheat sheet. We can pass the installers and say, this is the number right here. Don't exceed this, and we're not going to have any problems. Um, we're just going to come out with something quick that we can give to our installers and te over a text message, you know, and, and then I can convert it to Espanol. Yeah, and that's good because that's something you can put down on service calls and then and also just calls that you're getting from people that you're actually uh, selling to as well. Because yeah. it is easy, even with the Dynamic RGB WW and coming out with the Dynamic RGB system, we des we've developed it to be very simple. But at the same time, there are questions to that. And people, you know, not everybody is always, you know, this could be their first year installing where they really know nothing about the industry or anything about how to install. And so coming up with aids like that, uh, those are good ideas for mm -hmm. sure. Yeah, absolutely. So we're looking forward to that. And uh, there may or may not be some RGBWW in the future where it goes warm white for the first year on a C9 and a Glitzer. So that's something new that we're looking forward to rolling out. And we believe it's going to change the industry this year. For sure. And Eric's been flying all over the country, putting, putting his self in front of as many people as possible and saying, hey, 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 look at this new product. So uh, hopefully we'll see a lot of pictures. We'll have a lot of pictures and stuff. And if you want to see the Glitzer in person, get your butt over to Omaha on Wednesday. I believe at 9 o'clock in the morning, you need to be at the Holodynamics on Scott Circle. And uh, they are going to do Glitzer Fest, yes. Glitzer Fest, and then you may even have an invite to go install it and get some good pictures for your company on Wednesday. That's the twenty first. Twenty first. Yeah. Yep. From nine a.m. to ten p.m. Lunch dinner. Uh, we're going to have the house afterwards. Yeah. So. We're going to yep. go. Wow. Live. Yeah. Those that can't attend, we want to make sure uh, that we do the Facebook Live as well. So we're going to be doing a lot of things. Um, some sales product training. We'll be doing also some tours of the facility. Uh, so just lots of fun. It's just going to be a fun event uh, where we're re really going to be able to kick off that new product for the season. So we're excited. Yeah. And I think, I, think, I think what a lot of people need is they just need a video of it or pictures of it so they can show their customers and sell it. So that way when the product becomes available, the customers already want it and they're on the schedule to get it, you know, kind of thing. Uh, I think that's what another thing that's like an itch we're trying to scratch and accomplish so on Wednesday, right? Yep, absolutely. Yeah. Word and a new a new website coming out. That's what I'm excited about. That you can actually buy your products from the website. Are you guys doing the Olympics next year? Uh, that's that's a uh, to be determined. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. You know, yeah. It's a huge undertaking for the company to do it. And if we're gonna do something like that, we want to make sure that we have the commitment to doing it right, and uh, to to always try and better ourselves from what we've done in the previous years as well yeah shit it's gonna be hard to outdo the houston one dude <laughs> hey, i yeah. know scott 
can do it. I know Scott can do it. I'm ready. Get out I'm your ready. checkbook. I don't know. I don't know if you could outdo the Houston one, dude. I don't I know. Let's search in 2024. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, but it's, uh, I didn't realize how much it costs to throw those things on. It's like, you know, north of $100,000 to put these on. And, you know, when, when you're like a, a person attending, you're like, oh, this is nice, like a wedding or whatever. But like, if you're the person like who owns a distributor, it's like, wonder if I could probably do something like that. And then you start looking at the price tag of all these things. You're like, oh my gosh, dude, I can see why all the, it's only big, 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 big companies who can even afford to do things like that. But they're nice. They're definitely yeah. nice. You guys appreciate that and and uh our goal yeah. is to do so so um we'll, we'll see how everything kind of rolls out for for next year as well so thanks for the positive feedback on that yeah yeah absolutely yeah friends of ours hey i appreciate y'all coming on today absolutely. scott and eric i know it's uh, scott's birthday so i'm sure the family is like scott's wanting you mama. to get back in there it's yeah. scott's mom. Get back in there, Eric. Your wife already texted and said, can Eric get back in here and hang out with the family? <laughs> no, we appreciate you guys. We yeah. appreciate the formats coming in and talking about the holiday lighting industry, where we can support, um, you know, with the Murphys, the Robies, great people, great opportunities to learn from everyone in this industry. And that's what I like about you two. I mean, you're, these two families is the fact that um, you're willing to share that information You'll jump out on social media and try to help somebody out. And, you know, that's, that's not everybody out there. That's not everybody that we distribute to as well. So, yeah, uh, we appreciate that. So keep doing yeah. what you're doing. Um, I think everybody appreciates it. So, yeah. Well, we're representing Texas. So that's what's yeah. up there. Heck yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, yeah. If you're not from Texas, you know, you, you know, if, if you're from Texas, you know exactly what we're talking about. You know, when, when it comes to Texas, having good representation of products in Texas. I appreciate you funneling through products through uh, the Murphys and us yep. because Texas is a big game. I think it's the number one state in the United States when it comes to Christmas lights and uh, you planting seeds here. I, th I think they'll be watered and they'll grow into a big harvest in the future. So that's what I got to say about that. Well, I appreciate it. All right. We're Thanks brother, Eric. Topics and uh, we'll tune in more. All right, brother. <clears throat> anyway, vendors and suppliers. We had holiday names on there, but there's some other cool uh, vendors and suppliers. Oh, I thought we were going to the next topic. I have, arm, I have my arm ready. I have my arm ready, and I. <laughs> yeah. All right. Let, let me let me let me try a better transition this time. No, I'm sorry, Ryan. I just... Let's go with. Um... <laughs>